What is the worst most awkward thing a healthcare professional has said to you while doing their job? Whoops, a bit of scrotal barbecue there. Urologist briefly lost control of the heated probe used to cauterize the vas deferens during my vasectomy. Heated probe made contact with my scrotum. Brief but blinding pain. Followed by a burnt hair smell. Followed by that comment. Whoops is the last thing I want to hear when a man is toying around my balls with a blowtorch. During my rectal exam my doctor said you know, I just don't get that whole gay thing. Moan and say you on, I do. I was 12 13 years old and had to have an EKG done. It's important to note that puberty was in full swing at the time, and I was awkward and shy, as teens tend to be. The nurse asked me to take off all of my clothes, except for my panties. My mom was in the room, to make matters worse, as I was lying there on the table, almost completely naked and hooked up to the machine. The nurse smiled, looked at my mom and said, what a beautiful girl. It was the creepiest and most embarrassing moment of my young life, for sure. I see a little bush peeking over the top there. You must be so proud. My Jinnu called me boss while she was digging around in me. It was just a little weird. During a routine physical when I was 12. Let's make sure both nuggets are in the sack. Whoa. Never seen that before. Said while inspecting my dong. Depending on the situation. This is either an instant confidence booster or a horrific memory. First mammogram. Tex says wow, you're young, I was 34, I say yes, I have a BRCA1 mutation, it's there on my chart, she makes a face and leaves me to change, I come out and she says who told you to get the genetic testing done I told her my ob gen. she says well, I wouldn't want to know, really, I have a 90% chance of breast cancer and can reduce my odds to 5% and you wouldn't want to know if you had the ability to do that and you give mammograms for a living? Then she condescendingly patted me on the shoulder on the way out and said good luck, you'll need it, frick that be. So I go to my camp nurses and tell them my symptoms, upset stomach, bloating, aching, no period in 2 months, we fainting spells, and what seems to be morning sickness. I was a virgin at the time, and told them so, needless to say, they were a mite skeptical, one asked me, very seriously, have you been hanging around any ejaculating dongs lately? Go, no. the other nurse, equally serious said, yeah, you never really know with ejaculating dongs, and sperm are feisty little buggers, and they proceed to have a somewhat nostalgic conversation on the merits of anal. The doctor asked me if I touched myself and how often, with my mom sitting right next to me. After my first prostate exam my doctor tried to shake my hand and then pulled away, saying oh no, you won't want to do that, you're my fifth prostate I've poked today. This makes me think the doctor didn't wash their hands or wear gloves, and it makes me shudder. On the third day into my stay in the neurological wing of the hospital, the doctor came in, after 9pm, in street clothes, and said, I knew I forgot to see someone on my rounds today, did not inspire a lot of confidence in her as a professional, especially since I was terrified, and had no clue as to what was wrong with me. On the bright side, at least she came back. Nothing too horrific, but a doctor was prepping to give me a vasectomy when she said after dropping her pen I've got the shakes today for some reason. It went fine. I work for a urologist who purposely says crap like this to our vasectomy patients right before the procedure. Can someone get my that book with the step by step to do this or I was up so late last night drinking so if I nod out, just wake me. I was recovering in a private room after having a stillbirth at 36 weeks. At shift change a new nurse came on, breezed right past the huge bright red freestanding sign that they had placed in front of the door saying to stop and speak to the shift supervisor before entering. She asked what have you done with the baby. I explained that she was in the nursery as I didn't feel that I could sleep with her in the room. Obviously she hadn't been updated as she immediately started a rant on how it's not their job to look after my baby, and that I can't just dump her in the nursery so I can have a peaceful night, and that she was going to go and get her immediately and would be speaking to whatever midwife had allowed this ridiculousness. If I was in my right mind I would have let her go to the nursery, find the right cot and realized her mistake herself. Unfortunately I wasn't in the right mind to say anything smart, 
Once she did find out, instead of apologizing and leaving she fricked around pretending to clean my room whilst asking me exactly what went wrong. I had a huge infection in one of my boobs, the thing was 3 sizes bigger than normal, bright red, hot and rock hard, I can't even describe how much it hurt, it was the most pain I ever experienced. I had a mammogram to locate the exact problem, while I was standing there, having my red boob crushed by the machine, trying not to faint, scream and or curse. The nurse started talking about how the hospital gown I was wearing was perfect for a little role playing in the bedroom. I didn't even know how to reply when she said when we are ready here, you can go back to the dressing room and get dressed again. You can leave the gown there, but you are more than welcome to take it with you. I'll go look in the dressing room later, and if the gown isn't there, I will know you will be having a great evening with your partner. I was getting a physical in high school, I was an incoming freshman, the lady doctor asked what middle school I was coming from, I told where and she said I bet you know my daughter at the exact moment she grasped my balls, I was very caught off guard, I did later go on to see her daughter's boobs in high school, which was cool. I was 19 and having my first pap smear, my gino kept wiping around the opening to my vagina with q-tips, and mentioned. You've got a lot of mucus here I was pretty meek, and said, sorry, my gino paused, physically paused swabbing, and said, did you just apologize for having an excess of mucus in your vagina the nurse in the room and I both turned a bit red, she also tickled my armpit while giving me a breast exam, she was trying to make me feel comfortable. With my dad in the room, do you have any trouble ejaculating? Bend over, touch your toes. I'll show you where the monster goes, I have a sneaking suspicion he was just a hobo who had stolen a lab coat, but still, that was a fun day. My mother had a gynecological operation and saw the consultant afterwards for a post-operation review. She asked him if it would be okay for her to have intercourse now to which he replied, yes, but wait until you get out of the hospital. As a healthcare professional, I have. Asked a one-legged man where his other shoe was. Accidentally degloved an entire forearm from a TENS patient. I was only a student at the time, so I think I just said something like, Oh god, to be fair the skin would have come off anyway, but I was not expecting it to come off in front of the family members. The skin just slipped off, and caught at her fingernails. Just because this is on you, doesn't make it yours. This makes you a cannibal. Patient was eating his cadaver skin graft slices of skin harvested from an organ donor, placed over large burns. But to be fair, this is one of the more awkward things I've had to say. For some reason my mother and siblings would stay in the room during the testicular exam. I had never had a testicular exam either so I didn't try to refrain from getting an erection. The doctor pulled down my pants and I was hard. He did the usual and at the end tapped the tip and said good everything's up and working I heard my mother laugh. I was injured playing sports. I found out later I snapped my ACL, partially tore both collateral ligaments, got a compression fracture of a couple of cm in my femur, took out a lot of my lateral meniscus, strained my popliteus tendon and got a sizable tear in my medial gastrocnemius. I went to A&E, being mainly supported by someone else sat down to fill out some forms the nurse told me to go and hand the form to her desk on the other side of the room i said that i couldn't walk can you hop my dentist f told me my scruffy beard looked good but wondered if it was scratchy to the inside of my girlfriend's thighs burned my back at work one time a doctor is applying a salve to help it heal and not get infected okay so this is sulfadine it's really good for burns Sulfadine? Is that a sulfur based medication? Yeah, why? I told the nurses I was allergic to sulfur meds. Doctor snatches up my chart, looks at it a minute, and says crap, then runs off, and returns a few minutes later with a nurse, and they proceed to scrape all the sulfadine off my badly burned back. And fun times. Not me, but my dad is terrified of needles. The phlebotomist walks up and in a very heavy Asian accent said this is the first time I do this. Turns out she had done that a million times, but had just recently started at this hospital in the US. It was the first time she had drawn blood for an American patient. If you continue producing so much testosterone, you'll sprout a dong, my 80 something year old endocrinometrist. 
I nurse misread my chart and thought it said my birthday was in 1993 instead of 1983. I was pregnant and married but rarely wore my ring because I was also a nurse and the fear of losing a ring in someone was real for me. She said wow, I bet your parents are really mad at you. I said what, why? She said for being pregnant at 16. She complained to the doctor about me but when I told him the story, he promised he would talk to her. I stressed that a scared pregnant teenager encountering her would be the worst possible situation for the patient. <laughs> Whilst having a kidney specialist inspect me, he told me to drop my wonder pants so he could inspect my dong. He squeezed it a little to look down my japs and as he did he said hello down there and chuckled to himself. I was honestly confused considering I thought he was just going to take an ultrasound scan of my kidneys. You are the second patient today whose teeth I would like to have. Gynecologist told me I should meet her son while she was examining me. Awkward as frick. Had a dentist start up with xenophobic comments about Polish people whilst he was mid-treatment drilling my molar. It's awkward enough when dentists start talking to you mid-procedure. How are you meant to respond? But that was pretty special. Notice how he squirms when you squeeze his scrotum. Reniniite here. Got hit in the nuts. Hurt for a week. Turned out to be epidid more swelling. Doc was showing a hot 25 year old female med student the different structures in my balls. I once went to the doctor because I had a sore throat. He felt my neck for lumps. Found some. And told me it was very likely cancerous. He suggested I go to the emergency room that day, then when I was visibly nervous, he told me that my behavior wasn't normal and I should also consider getting on medication. That's some flawed logic right there. Have you had any blood in your poo poo or pee pee? I was a 29 year old male and this wasn't a pediatric doctor. If he can't use the right words why would I take him seriously? This is the stuff that killed Michael Jackson immediately before administering anesthesia. It was topical at the time. I was 16 and going to a new dentist. I have a strong gag reflex, and I do not do well with things in my mouth. So this butthole tells me I'm never gonna find a husband. So I bit his finger. I had a doctor call me through into his office after verifying I was okay with a medical student sitting in. He asks my problem and I told him I was supremely confident I had the clap. He asks to see my doodle so I present it. He peels back my foreskin, rubs his finger around the head of my banch and then holds it right up to his nose and takes a deep sniff. He offered the student a belt of it, but she declined. We agreed on the diagnosis and I left with my script and this rather disturbing story. I told the doctor I used drugs occasionally for recreational purposes, and he asked me to hook him up with pingers. Ecstasy. You can feel that? Well, no turning back now. That was during a root canal I had in Iraq when the dentist didn't numb me enough. It ended up getting infected and my face ballooned up after not receiving antibiotics. I was medevaced into a bigger base and they drained my throat for a week. I was held up in a hospital with actual war wounded soldiers and I was the talk of all the doctors as the botched root canal guy. I was in the hospital a few years ago, I was 18, and lived too far away for anyone to be there for me. Nobody seemed to know what was wrong with me. In the middle of the night a nurse woke me up and said Megan, are you aware that you're pregnant? I flipped out until I realized she called me the wrong name. Turns out Megan was in the room next to me. To make matters worse, my charts got mixed up for a second time. They told me I had to have an emergency surgery. They explained the whole procedure, asked if I had questions, and said they would operate within the hour on my lung. The doctor left and came back, apologizing saying that the procedure was no longer needed. Nice dong said my dentist once during a routine cleaning. It caught me off guard and was a bit strange, but then again I did have my dong out at the time. Well that was a roller coaster of a comment. You have been visited by the hamster of joy comment I like chicken to live a happy and full of joy like the joy hamster life. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.